Okay, boys and girls, welcome back to part 10 of the AutoIt tutorial series. I hope you guys are well. This video is not going to be too long, but you'll be glad to know that we are starting to move on to things that are a bit more exciting. We're actually going to do stuff now. The theory is over, the maths, the all that stuff is over. You can put your pen and paper away. Um, yeah, so I just want to talk to you today about the um, window auto it window kit okay i'm not actually sure of its um, um actual name but we're going to get into that in a second i just want to say if you haven't already done so please subscribe to the channel and click that mother trucking bell icon so you get notified of when i release new videos especially if you like this series then uh, instead of checking back all the time you can get notified so make sure you do that check out the membership Links in the description, check out all the benefits you get, like the support and access to the bot vault. Check that out for sure. And if you haven't already done so, then make sure that you join us on Discord where we like to jump on the tables, drink beer and all that kind of stuff. All right then. So today's content. When you download, when you downloaded the script editor, okay, you'll also be downloading this. And I'll this, he says, this this thing here so you get two icons you get the editor and then you get the windows toolkit it's actually called the auto free windows info kit okay and what we can do with this we can grab grab this so we can go woo. now um, what we can do with this is we can get details of anything on the desktop or anything in a browser window Okay, and I'm going to show you really basically uh, the basics of it in this video. We are going to use this a lot as we go. This can be used to find details about, um, like I said, anything on your desktop in the browser. We can find the colors, the location, the, the text behind it. And then we can use this within our bots. And it um, also can be used when we, uh, with AutoIt, you can find things by color. You can find things by image, okay? So it really expands out. Um, a lot of people use this. Uh, I know this is out the scope of the course of what we're doing, but a lot of people use this with games as well when they want to cheat. <laughs> okay, but we'll be using this uh, finder tool a lot. So I'm just going to do something really basic now so you can get used to the tool, and then we're going to get into the like meat and potatoes of what, what auto it's about in the next videos. Okay, so for example, I can grab the finder tool here, so you just grab with the mouse. Now I'm going to put it on this icon here, or the Google uh, file here. So just let go. And what happens, you'll see lots of information, uh, like the size. Uh, if we go to the controls, all about it, it's class, it's text, uh, everything, the mouse, the position, colors, everything's in here about, about uh, what uh, the item that we just dropped the finder tool on okay so let me just come over to our script editor I'm gonna have to minimize it in fact no I don't that's a lie so what I could do just really simply is I could do uh, mouse click and then I could come in here and say which button do I want to press I want to use the left mouse but, um, button and then it's um, the X and Y coordinates. So where I drop the tool finder on that icon, I can see, for instance, the position was uh, 116, and then it's, uh, what was it, uh, 737. Okay, so that's the X and Y coordinates. How many times do I want to click? Twice, oops, twice, and what speed? I could leave it on 10, but I'm feeling adventurous today, so I'm gonna put seven, and then close this up. I'm gonna have to uh, minimize this, otherwise, we are not going to have much joy. And then I'm going to press F5, the mouse will move, double click, and boom, it's opened up that thing on the desktop. Okay, so this could be used with inside working with programs, like uh, if you've got different programs you want to work with, you can find the actual classes, uh, which we're going to get into, so don't worry, and the different control names for inside programs. So please bear in mind that AutoIt, you don't have to just work with the browser, you can work with programs on the desktop, okay? So you can open up programs and click the uh, different features on there, okay? And this is how 
you can find uh, information about everything that's on the browser or um, within an open program. So another thing, keeping it really simple uh, that we could do is we could, for instance, uh, let's, yeah, let's go with that run and then I think I've got it in the standard location. Let's see, uh, notepad dot exe. Okay, and then close that up. Let's just make sure I've got it here. Yep, so that opens up notepad quick as that. Okay, so then what I could do if I just open, um, yeah, actually, if I just run it again, open notepad. Now, what I can do is use the finder tool, drag it to the name of the open window, so here, and let go. Now here I get the class of this window called Notepad, the title, okay? So what I could do is I could come here and then win active, okay? And then open it up and then it's asking for a title. So I've got that information here. So I can type that in. Please bear in mind when you do this, it's case sensitive. So I need a capital and then um, you need to open up with um, yeah, with them. <laughs> Why do I always forget the name? Uh, quotation marks. Uh, uh, and then I'm going to put the name. So I'm just copying what's in here under title. Uh, as I say, please make sure that you use uppercase and lowercase. Okay. So let's check out what we're doing now. So let's get rid of the notepad. Let's run this. So what it's done is it's open notepad and then clicked on here to make it the active window so we can work with it, work with the notepad. Because if you open just notepad, it's not, um, it's not, uh, let me show you actually. If I open up something like this, you click, don't you, to be able to edit it. So it basically makes it the active window or the window that you're working with at the time. So once we've done that, let's, let's, uh, Sleep two seconds, okay? So we're gonna pause for two seconds and then we're gonna send, uh, let's send something that's close to your guy's heart. I love the hot empire. Oh, thanks guys. Okay, like that. Okay, let's see what happens. Open notepad, wait two seconds. I love the bot empire. There you go. How magical is that? Now you can save this and you can go and show your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mum, your dad and show how good you are with auto it. Okay guys, that's it for now. I just wanted to just touch on this tool kit, what it does, go and play around with it. It gives you, basically it gives you all the information for whatever you're going to work with, with inside your bot. Um, in the next videos, we're going to start doing more useful stuff. Okay. Um, as you can see, we're starting to move on to building out stuff. Um, we're going to start working with the browser next. We're going to start doing all that magical stuff that you come here to learn. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. But don't forget to subscribe and press that mother trucking bell icon. Peace.